Hi guys and welcome to another video. This one is about the A1 Mini, the Bamboo Lab, the awesome, really, really well priced, easy to use, fun printer, the A1 Mini. And Bamboo have got a really great reputation. Everyone probably knows about them by now for being the easiest machine to use. All the features that they've got on them just makes printing just so simple for simple tunes like me. Okay, all I need to really know how to do is look through an app, flick through the files that I want, click on it, choose my color, press play and done. Although you will need to feed in the filaments if you've got an AMS, which again is ridiculously simple. You just poke it through the hole and it does all the calibration for you and feeds it through. It's automatic. But anyway, the AMS makes multicolor simple and easy to use, but it's all automated. Right, so today's video is a video all about woodworking tools, okay? So these can print anything from making brackets to hinges to useful things, door stops, shelf brackets, anything that you can think of. And today it's about woodworking tools. I've got a few examples right now. I printed this up. Okay, this came off of the A1 Mini yesterday. I printed it for yesterday. So it's one of those squares that you put your pencil in and you could do one millimeter increments. So what you'll do is you run that on your piece of wood, you put your pencil in and run it across at any increment you like, say 32 mil, 64 mil, et cetera, et cetera. Perfect for those. I've got an aluminium one and um, it was quite expensive. It was about 15, 20 quid just for this tiny little one that went up to 60 mil. But these come bigger and it just does what it says on the tin. It's perfect for what I've just told you. Also on here in my um, Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, we printed up in only about an hour and 20 minutes um, a base for your little mini Makita trimmer. This also, I think, fits the Katsu. I've got the Katsu and I need to trial it. But it's got a little knob that screws on. And to be honest, I've not tried it just yet and I've not got a screw for it just yet. But there is a knob. But basically, when you're trimming, you just want to have a little bit extra support. Like, like so, you're holding your trimmer it's just going to give you that extra support and that's what the base is for and you'll be paying 20 quid or so something like that online for one of these um so that's another example but today i wanted to show you the actual bamboo app okay so if we can get a little bit closer here so what i'm going to do so is i'm going to click on my bamboo lab app okay i'm going to type in um vernia caliper okay and then I like this one. I've tried it. It's got two lengths. Okay. So this is how simple it is, guys. You've got to go to prepare to print. Pick the one that we want. So the options we have is color 220 long, color 150 long, or no color um, 150 and no color 220. So basically, if you wanted to fill these in with the green and the black, as you can see in the pictures, it's multicolor. Let's do the multicolor, but the smaller one, the 150. Click on that. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to press next make sure your printer is on okay and then you'll be able to just click on your list of printers so i've clicked on my a1 mini and let's click there now we've selected the printer let's go to the ams we're going to click on these colors and you can see the colors that i've got here if you have a look over there you'll see the colors yeah we've got the yellow the orange the, the white and the copper okay and we're showing that here as well i've typed these in because these filaments aren't the bamboo lab, they don't have chips on it, so they're not going to be red. You can see they're the cheap ones that I bought on my own. So I'm going to pick yellow. I'm going to click that one and click yellow. And I'm going to click that one. And let's just go for white. So hopefully the body will be yellow and the writing will be white. So, so far, really, really simple. Just scroll down. If you want time lapse and just film a time lapse, you can just do that. Um, but if you don't want the bed leveling and the flow calibration, you want to speed up a little bit, prepare to do it. You know, you can untick those. But it only takes a couple of minutes. Simply just press start print. It's going to send it to the cloud. It says cloud slicing. OK, so slicing means that basically the printer or the software is basically sifting through your file and working out how it's going to print it. Yeah, and there we go. So it's telling us it's going to be an hour and 33 minutes. And if we look on while it's doing its thing, so basically it's going to heat up the bed, make sure that's the right temperature. It's going to do all its calibrations and purge some and change colors, testing it basically. 
So whilst it's doing that, we can click on the play. Bearing in mind that on the A1 Mini, the camera, camera is a little bit glitchy, okay, because the frames per second is a little bit slow, so it takes a bit of time to refresh. The X1 Carbon is so much better, the camera. I mean, the way it just doesn't glitch. But, you know, it's, it's basically the only downside of the whole bamboo range in my eyes. But anyway, we've got everything we, we want to know. We've got the time going to take, the amount of layers. We can stop and pause it. We can see our temperatures of the bed and the filament and the speed. If we want to change the speed, we can just click it here. Standard is good. Silent is slow. Um, you want to go stupidly fast, ludicrous. But if you're not in a rush, I wouldn't really devise it just because why go fast why wear out your machine or risk not having a perfect print um if you don't need to rush so i'm going to stick to standard um yeah and that is it really so all we really need to do is just wait for it can you have a look here it's purging a little bit okay so basically it's pulled through the yellow it's melting it to make sure it's hot and it's going to do its calibration flow it's, it does waste about a gram or two Probably a little bit more than I was expecting. Remember, if you've got a color in your machine, I imagine I had a brown or something before this job, and it had a little bit of brown in the um, head. It wants to squeeze more out so it's not mixing the brown and the yellow, and you're not going to get a mixed up color. So hence, it's purging quite a bit. So the quality of these things is just tremendous. If you're not doing multicolor like I am, then there's no need to get this AMS. It's, a, it's 300 pounds to have it with the AMS, or it's 169 pounds if you just want the printer on its own. Remember, the printer can just accept one reel or one spool directly on the printer. Um, so if you don't mind changing, which only takes a couple of minutes, you know, just don't need to spend that. So if you're looking at printing like professionally and easily and not have any knowledge whatsoever of printing, because I didn't, then the A1 Mini, or even the A1 is the next step up. The A1 Mini is just superb. It doesn't print as big as these. I don't think the A1 Mini prints as big as this. This is 256 square. Yeah. So, but when are you going to be printing things that big all the time? Like I've got a massive CNC. It's 1500 squares. It's four foot by four foot. And I thought, get the biggest one. How many times have I used it to print something that big? I just don't. I carve something small like this, like or like chopping boards and stuff like that. So the point is, do you need something that's going to print as big as the range above the a1 mini because this is the smallest one but i'm thinking if you are basically looking for something that is it looks after itself it's so so easy you can use their app because their app is all built in it does everything you don't need to have another slicing app and you want it to be for cheap and have amazing prints this is the way okay we printed lots and lots haven't we yeah. tons and tons fidget spinners toys for the kids um, one thing I do want to show you, stay here, don't go anywhere. So what do you think of my fireplace? Cool, isn't it? Everyone wants one of these. Don't lie, you want one. I know you do. Get yourself an A1 Mini, print up some cool stuff. Get one of these and you can make yourself a little wireless charging port because that's where the wireless charger port goes. And it's as simple as that. That only printed in about, I don't know, four hours, maybe not even that to do all the components. But um, super cool, hey? And this is what you can do. So the video was about showing you what the A1 Mini can do. And I've shown you that on this and a few um, demonstrations over with the um, squares. Um, but now it's doing its thing. What I'll do is I'll show you some footage of this and um, show you the end products and um, and that will be it. So what most printers do anyway, they do the outline and um, one layer and then they fill it. And this, this is exactly what it's doing. It's doing it slowly to make sure it's um, properly. And then after that, it will pick up the speed. So you can see the shape of the two components now um, of the vernier calipers. Okay, so this is in sport mode, okay, so the second speed up out of the four, it's done its first layer, and it's on the remaining layers. So this had 30 in total, as you can see. Oh, it's heating the heat bed again. Let's give it a second. Uh, you actually caught the printer um, spotting an error. So it noticed that the yellow spool wasn't moving anymore, and what had happened as 
was that it crossed over on the spool, stopped it moving, so it paused it for me and asked me. So I've taken the spool off, untangled it, put it back on, and just say resume printing. So we don't waste a whole print because we've got quite a bit there now. Um, and it should just carry on exactly where we want it to be. So let's press resume. It will probably purge a little bit more because it would have cooled down in the extruder and it should start again in exactly the same place. So it just started on its own and we haven't spoiled or spoiled the, the actual print and we won't notice at all. What's stuck in the bottom? Pardon? What's stuck in the bottom? The plate. Oh, that's just a little bit of a poop. How did it get stuck there? It's quite fun to watch. We quite we quite like this one, don't we? Because it's just open. It's a fun looking thing. We're thinking that we are just once all these machines are gone, we are going to just stick it in the corner around there so we can play around with it and have it as a toy. Because this one is is more serious. That's my toy. And effectively. This is the kid's toy. So what we'll do is we'll let it do its thing. It's got lots to do. Okay, guys, all done. I forgot to record the last bit. Just been busy with the kids. So basically, here it is. I printed it on the wrong colours, really. I should have done black and yellow, not white and yellow. Silly me. Um, so it should just simply slide in. There we go. And it does. And it's got a nice bit of resistance. No slack in it at all. And let's give it a little... You've got your place for your finger there. Let's just measure something just for the sake of it. Okay, let's measure the thickness of this plate. Okay, five mil. And then let's just do the inside diameter of something using these little prongs. There we go, 31 mil. So really well made piece of kit. Nice little tool that you can use. Obviously, it's not point of a mil. Um, but they are mills and you can see in between so you can go all oh, that's 30 and a half for example they're accurate enough, accurate enough for something around the house possibly maybe measuring your mdf or your sheet material something like that but other than that guys that is it i wanted to show you the a1 mini and just show you how good this thing really is for the money okay it's only 169 pounds you don't need the ams in my opinion if you want it for multicolor and ease of use of changing colors go for it but if you just want a printer that is absolutely outstanding for the money it's the a1 mini um downside i'd say is the print size um but i can't see any other downside so there you go guys you can print woodworking tools anything you like there's a ton out there to choose from hundreds and hundreds um so there we go have a great Friday. I'll see you next Friday. Take it easy. Ciao for now.